Okay, now that we're ready to download and install the Call of Duty plugin for Maya, head on down to the video description and there's going to be a link to a ModMe website. Click on that link. Once you do, it's going to direct you right to this page. Now, if you're not registered and sign in, you know, do that real quick. You know, take your time. You can always pause the video. Now, currently I'm already signed in and I'm able to get whichever download I would like from this website. So first things first, once you already have that done, you want to look on the upper left. It's going to say mod me and right on the mod me is going to say form. Click on that. Once you do, it's going to direct you right to this page over here. Now you're going to scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see creations. Now within this section, you're going to see it says released tools. So click on that. Once you do, it's going to direct you to a spot where you can download a bunch of helpful tools for use with Call of Duty mod tools. So the one we want to look for is called Call of Duty Maya Tools 2.0 for Maya 2012 Plus. Now, these tools are going to work for starting with Maya 2012 and all the way up. So if you have uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, and so on, it'll work. So what you want to do is you want to click on that link. Once you do, it's going to direct you right to this page. It's going to say Call of Duty Maya Tools 2.0. Now, there's information on the download, which is the one we want right over here. It's also an installation guide. Now, these tools are constantly being updated. So I'm going to show you guys the best way that I see on installing these tools because it's constantly changing. So let's give that a go. All right, so we'll click on Download Content. Once you do, it's going to ask for a little verification for terms and conditions. Just click OK. All right, now once you do that, it's going to direct you right to this page. Now, as the making of this video, currently the version for the Call of Duty Maya tools is version 2.7.2. .2. Now, if you have a newer version, that's fine. Just download the newest version. Now, you want to look under Assets, and you want to, should be the first one, Call of Duty Maya tools. 2.7.2 zip. So what you want to do is you want to download that. Just click on it. And there it is right on the bottom left. As you can see, I already finished off the download. All right. Now it's fairly small. Now you're going to need to extract this information using WinRare, WinRAW, whichever you prefer it. 7-zip, you know, whichever pr extraction program you like using, just use that. All right. So I already have WinRAW installed so I'm gonna double click it as you can see it presents me with these uh, this folder and these two files now what I want to do is I'm gonna make a folder on my desktop you know I don't really have to name it I just want to store it inside of it so it doesn't get lost around all right so here we go I'm gonna highlight everything extract it to the folder there we go all right, now, if you haven't started up your Maya program, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the Maya folder inside of My Documents. So head on over to My Documents. Let's open this up. Go into My Documents. And as you can see, I already have a Maya folder inside of here. Now, if you don't have this here, all you want to do is just start up Maya and it'll make the folder for you because this is the first time you're actually using it. So if you don't have that folder, start up Maya, it'll create the folder and you're good to go. All right. So that's all you have to do. Give it a second because it's loading up some plugins. There we go. All right. I'm going to close this out. Make sure when you're installing these tools, you have Maya closed and not open. There we go. All right, so now that we have the folder right over here, you want to go inside of the folder. And you're going to look for your version of Maya, which has to be 2012 or above. Now, currently I have version 2018. So it is going to be a 2018 folder. I'm going to double click on that. 
and there's going to be a folder called scripts. Double click on that and you want to drop these files right inside of that folder. Bow, there you go. All right, so now that I have that done. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to create a .mel file. Now, currently they always say if you don't have one, just create one, but they don't really give a description on how to do that, so I'm going to show you guys that today. So open up Maya. Once you have it open, now on the bottom right, you're going to see this little icon right over here, which is going to say script editor. Just click on that. Once you do, this little window is going to pop up. Now on this little window, what you want to do is in the video description, there's going to be some text you have to copy. And the text you're going to copy is this. Just right click, go to paste. And it's going to say Python import COD Maya tools. Now, this is we're going to create the mail file right now. So just paste that in right over here. Make sure that the mail tab is selected right over here, not under Python. It has to be under mail. And then you want to go over to file, save script, and you're going to navigate over to your documents folder. So I'm going to click on documents, and you're going to look for the Maya folder, which is right over here. Click on that. You're going to want to go into 2018. Now, there's going to be a scripts folder right next to 2018. You don't want that folder. You want the folder that's inside of 2018. So click on 2018. And then there's going to be another scripts folder. So click on that. And you're going to want to name it. User setup. Call it user setup. Make sure files of type is mail files and click save. And that's pretty much it. Now we can close this out. Now you have to restart Maya. So let me just go to exit. No, don't save. As you can see, I don't have anything right up here. Just let this close out. And once you restart, it should have the Call of Duty plugins installed all right and right up here there it is call of duty tools now if you click on that you can see that i installed the new plugin which has a few extra features from the last time maybe i made my previous video so you can export an x model there you go or you could uh export an x animation export an x camera import x models from Call of Duty 7, Call of Duty 5, Call of Duty 4, extra utilities, if you're going to be doing any weapons porting, settings. Now, just in case, let's uh, go over the settings. So what you want to do is you want to click on the Call of Duty tools, scroll down to settings, move over to game settings, and you're going to want to set the root folder for whichever Call of Duty you have. So right now we have uh, set bo3 root folder so we'll click on that it's going to open up a little window now you want to navigate to where your root folder for the black ops 3 is so i'm going to click on my computer steam apps common and here are my games bo3 click into it and then once it starts showing your mod tool stuff just click save and it saved the directory. Now if I head on back on over to the settings again, you can see that it has Call of Duty BO3 selected now. And you're pretty much done. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add SE animations plugin for Call of Duty into the Maya. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to make your own models and you know, all that good stuff. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.